Hello, welcome to another video. This is Steve. Today, a little bit, a little bit B2, B2 use of English. Some activities that I made for some of my classes this week, in school, private classes. This week, we celebrated Andalusia Day, where it's celebrating the when the region became a, an autonomous community or something. I don't really know. Um, main thing is you get a day off school and we get actually more days off school because it was a long weekend so all, everyone very happy and I made some special activities to celebrate this and be to use of English activities which I'm going to put on YouTube so you can practice them as well. Use of English part one it's about the typical Andalusian breakfast that my partner loves so much that for me is a bit weird but there we go what are the correct options for each blank read the sentence carefully the sentence is giving you the clues this one is one of the more difficult B2 part ones that I've seen. But I made it like that because normally people forget part one because it's too easy. Take a minute and here come the answers. We should have for number one, you've done it, yes, number one, heart. Heart's going to be the best answer because we mean at the center, but the conceptual center. So the heart is the center of this concept. Number two is a combination of food that we're talking about. So an iconic combination. Number three. We're talking about crusty bread. Toasty doesn't really work as an adjective to describe bread. It can describe how you feel in the morning in your bed when you're nice and warm, but not really bread, especially if we're talking about freshly baked bread. Number four, serves as a canvas. As was the clue, serves as. Serves is the only word that goes with as. Number five, measurement words, so important. And when we're talking about flavor, the best option is a depth of flavor. Number six, this is a trio. It's a positive word that we want. It's a classic trio. We're talking about how traditional and classic it is. Number seven, this is just an expression. Orange juice is, is squeezed. Squeeze the oranges, make your juice. And number eight, this is probably the most difficult collocation, but with set, we're going to say tone. You set the tone for the day ahead. You know, it means setting the correct mood for the day ahead, starting the day in a good way, but you can't say set the start. So give yourself a score out of eight for part one. As you know, you are trying to get five out of eight if you are working at a B2 level. And probably, well, if you got a five, you're doing very well because this was a difficult one. Let's go on to part two. Part two, a British person in Andalusia. Of course, we love the beaches, getting nice and sunburned. Uh, pause the video, choose the best word for the blanks based on the lack of options, which little grammatical word will fill these blanks. Here come the answers. Number one, well, it's about these beaches being unique and why they're special. If we're talking about something being unique and special, it is standing out. Number two, we need the relative pronoun, mm, sets them apart, is the fusion of. If you read the sentence carefully, the only possible answer is what. The relative pronoun for the thing that. The thing that sets them apart is, it makes sense, we need to say what. Number three, you are surrounded by. That's just a collocation, surrounded by something. Number four, a touch. This was a nice one because normally we see touch as a verb, but here we need to use it as a noun if you understand the sentence. All of this scenery adds a touch of elegance to the seaside. Number five, a super typical expression. Sunbathing and swimming, two water sports. Hmm, we're saying, talking about the range of activities. It's from this to this. And windsurfing and kiteboarding are examples of water sports, so they are water sports like windsurfing and kiteboarding, like the preposition used to say, for example. Number seven, this one was a bit easier. What's the verb with allow? How do we use the verb? We use the infinitive, so it's to savor. You allow someone to do something. And number eight, the preposition with combined is with. Combined with the climate, the beaches offer a great idea for a holiday. So there we go. Again, total out of eight and add up your totals. And we will move on to part three, which is a great trick that I've played on my students because part three is the same as part one and you just read it. So you should find this very, very easy because you just read all of the answers in part one. But maybe you didn't pay attention to them when you didn't read it carefully. So for what you need to do for part three, as you know, is take the word in bold on this line and transform the word. For example, simple, simplify a verb so that it fits the sentence. Pause the video and try and answer these eight questions which are around B2 level and then here come the answers. 
Number one, the noun from simple is simplicity, a celebration of simplicity. Uh, adjective of icon is iconic, it's an iconic combination. We need the noun of abundant, it's abundance. And number four, how is the bed break? baked freshly? Number five, an adjective to describe this olive oil, expensive <laughs> and golden, of course. And number six, deep depth. Number seven, this is the most difficult one. This, com this trio is, we need, uh, we need the past participle of the verb from company, it's accompanied. That's the most difficult one, but if you got it, well done. And number eight, similar to number six, these measurement words, which are so important. So important that I think I'm going to make a video about them because it keeps coming up again and again on part three. Well, we're measuring how deep something is, how warm something is. We're talking about the warmth of Andalusian culture, who opening, welcoming me with open arms. So there's your part three. Mark out of eight again. Keep your total. Try and get that 60% to pass B2. Part four then. Part four. With we're in Andalusia, we have to talk about the great festivals that I ignore all the time and just get in my way when I'm trying to go to work. No, of course, the festivals are very important. Complete the sentences using a minimum of two and a maximum of five words for B2. Although I'll give you a hint, it's very rare that you see two words. And the answers are coming in a second. Now you've had time to look at them, think about them, think about the typical structures. Here come the answers. And I say typical structures because I have made these ones a bit easier, I've got to be honest. I've copied them from previous exams, the structures, but what I haven't included is any expressions, an expression that you just have to know. No, these are all grammatical structural ones like reported speech, third conditional, using verb patterns, comparatives, passive, and again, verb patterns. So really, ones you can learn, that's my point here. Anyway, number one, if you learned it, how do we use encourage? You encourage someone to do something. In this case, the guide encouraged Rob. It's right there in the sentence. Number two, third conditional. If it had not been so hot. Would have, with had. Number three, this was very easy, but it was on a B2 exam, so well done if you got it. You got to get the easy ones. We didn't need to. We saw, past tense, we did not need to, past tense. Number four, comparative used to be more popular than it is now. The line, as we know, means one mark for to be more popular, one mark for than, and the same for all the questions, obviously. Number five, it was worn by. You need to know your irregular past participles at this level, where, wore, worn. And number six, if you're happy to do it, then you've got no problem doing it. You don't mind doing it. I don't mind inviting, or I wouldn't mind is also possible. So there we go, you've got a total out of 12, and you've got a total total out of 36. And as we know, for B2, you need 60%, which is 22 out of 36 to pass. If you're working at C1 level, as many of my great followers and subscribers are, you want to get a little bit higher. Difficult to say how much, because as I said, some of these parts are a bit more difficult. But based on the students who did this in my class, you should be probably aiming for 27 plus out of 36 on this exam to be to be saying, yeah, I'm, I'm a C1 level. All right, to finish, a little bit of speaking. I was going to do this about Andalusia, but maybe not everyone knows Andalusia, so I, I made it about Europe in general. It's a part three. I'd like you to talk together about why an English teacher might choose these places to start a new life in Europe. And you have two minutes to discuss it, put the timer on your phone, and then one minute to say, which is the best place to start a new life in Europe? Obviously, the answer is Spain. Why wouldn't you come to Spain? And there's many reasons which you can discuss together in this part of the speaking exam. All right, have fun doing that. I will see you next week. Goodbye.